and it's the end of day nine. Uh, today I started putting back together the inside of the sedan, which you can't really see. Um, you can see there's the armrest. Center consoles pretty much put back together, climate controls back in, glove boxes back in. Um, but, uh, the whole cluster is back in. Pretty much, uh, I just need to finish putting back together like the instrument cluster. So like the radio, uh, the DIN that I have, my cigarette lighter in, and some little things like that. And obviously put the seats back in. I cut a notch in my, where is it? I believe it's on the other side. Oh well. I cut a notch in the little piece of plastic, little cubby thing that the cigarette lighter's on and my base control knob is on. And I am going to put my boost gauge um, GFB GeForce 2 in there. Uh, that way like I can still like glance down at it as I need it. You don't need to be staring at your boost all the time. Um, but it's kind of stealthy and like just looking at the car you won't really notice it unless it's on. Um, tucked all the wiring. That side's looking pretty much stock except for obviously the mess from the manifold. But have it all tucked in there. Um, wrapped a lot of the wires. I moved my wiring for the um, auxiliary lights over to the other side. I have that all tucked underneath here with the wires that go across the front of the car. And I have them all wrapped and tucked away. You can see a little bit of the wires right there. I still need to hide those, those yellow ones. Um, I'm just gonna coil them up and shove them in there deep. That's what she likes. Um, I did the passenger side also, as you can see. I was stupid and I cut off all the sleeving when I was checking the wires and trying to figure out if I needed to actually pull the harness in the wagon. So they're kind of unsleeved, but once the air box is in here and the fucking turbo, you'll be staring at that stuff. You won't be noticing those wires. And if people call me out on it a lot, then I will just pull them out and I'll wrap them in some, uh, uh, that shit, whatever that is called, that uh, corrugated stuff. Uh, split loom, there we go. I put in the washer bottle, which really isn't anything to brag about. Uh, pretty much today was do nothing because the fucking filter still hasn't come in, so I can't put the engine in until that comes in. So I spent my time on things instead of like rushing to get it going. Uh, my friend Joe wanted to look at a 240, so I spent like two, three hours-ish, well, two hours looking at that, and then my friend Steven, the kid with the BMW that you've seen in a couple of the videos, that I still needed to do the coilover video for. He found a E30, nah, la, 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 E36 M3 that he wanted to buy, and then I, when I said that it was just like our friend Jesse's car, except for an M3, he was like, yeah, that's gay. So, um, he's keeping his E30. Um, he might be buying a 242 coupe, Volvo 242 coupe. Um, we found one a little bit further up north for 900 bucks, and he kind of wants a winter car, so that way he can, like, make the E3 sick as shit. Uh, E30 sick as shit. Um, so we might be buying that. Friend Joe bought a 242, uh, 244 today. It's a 86 it only has 121,000 miles on it, so that's nothing for like almost a 30-year-old car. Um, we're gonna be picking that up this weekend. Uh, everything checks out. There's a little bit of rust on one of the fenders, but we'll end up doing a video on like rust repair. It's just surface rust, so basic sand bondo paint, sand bondo primer paint. Um, I don't know, hopefully that filter comes in tomorrow. Because really, like, I can only spend so much time tidying up these wires. I guess I could clean the engine bay a little bit more. It's kind of dirty. Oh, finished moving the ABS. Forgot about that. So now the ABS is actually moved. Pulled the bracket out of the wagon. Um, I already had the wiring moved yesterday. But now the ABS itself is moved. Um, yeah, hopefully that filter comes tomorrow. Because really all I have left in the engine bay 
is to run the brake lines, which won't take long at all. And then I really don't have much left in the cabin. And once the cabin's all done, I can put the seats in. I can pull my power wire forward because my power wire for my subwoofers only runs to here, which is um, where my battery was for the naturally aspired setup, but now my battery's gonna be over there. I have like four feet coiled up, three feet coiled up in the trunk that I'm hoping I can run this along the back of the radiator and over to the positive. And if I can't, then I'm gonna have to go out and buy some zero gauge welding cable or something and some uh, zero gauge uh, fucking crimp shit things. I can't talk, it's late. I woke up early today, didn't do anything, sat around. One on Facebook, one on Turbo Bricks, one on YouTube. Then came out here for a little bit and then went with Joe. So, tomorrow I'm going to Six Flags, I have to drive my girlfriend's car. Wish I could be driving this because I don't like driving front wheel drive Civics. So that's any Civic. And um, it's not my car, so it feels weird and I'm nervous because if, for whatever reason, I was to not pay attention and hit something, which I've never done before, I'd be paying for it instead of just living with it. Um, so, There'll be a little bit of an update tomorrow, but not much. It'll probably just be me putting that filter on and maybe putting the engine in, depending on what time we get back from Six Flags. I'll at least be doing the filter if it comes and the brake lines. So I will see you then.